Close to 400 PUB grants for water efficiency projects have been awarded since the program's launch in 2007. This collectively saved 70 million litres of water, enough to fill 28 Olympic-sized pools each day. The grants encourage organisations to look at efficient and innovative ways to manage their water demand. This was revealed at the National Water Agency's awards ceremony, where 46 winners were recognised for their efforts in water efficiency and conservation. The top category, the Singapore Watermark Awards, saw 64 nominations, the most to date. Three winners took home this top prize. We will be looking at two of them in detail in just a moment. There's also a new projects category with SBS Transit among the recipients. At two of its depots, it has managed to save up to 25% of water for every bus that has been washed. Efficient water use is an important part of a sustainable business growth strategy. Besides cost savings, it also contributes to long-term competitiveness and resource resilience. We want to recognise businesses and organisations that are actively advancing water efficiency and raising the bar for the sustainable use of water. A primary school that managed to lower its water consumption by a third a wafer fab that uses 100% recycled water and makes sure that the resource is used again up to three times. Risha Matthew looks at two winners of this year's top PUB awards. With a wave of a hand, rainwater starts running through the pipes to clean bottles and metal cans before these are recycled. The inspiration behind the student's invention the school's rainwater collection system. The collected rainwater is used for various other purposes like watering the plants. The students are excited uh, to apply what they have learned uh, into solving authentic real-world issues. So we always make it compelling for them using design thinking as an approach. They empathise with the situation as it is. So we want them to develop these keen eyes for the situation around them and then apply what they have learned to solve these issues. The school also has taps and water coolers with sensors. These efforts have brought down water consumption by 30% over four years. At this silicon manufacturing company, each drop of water is used up to three times, a major feat considering the sheer amount of the resource it uses every day. This plant contains the recycled water required for manufacturing wafers, including rinsing, cleaning and manufacturing. About 5,000 cubic meters of water is used every day. That's about the size of two Olympic-sized swimming pools. But this efficiency and conservation journey was one that took 20 years. When we first uh, switched our uh, water uh, you know, uh, into new water, right? Uh, for you know, for uh, for our operations, uh, that uh, that required you know uh, different you know uh, specs. Other technical challenges like uh, you know using more efficient water filters with suppliers to design more innovative filtration methodologies. These are all uh, you know things that uh, require engineering breakthrough and of course collaboration uh, both with uh, you know uh, uh, suppliers as well. The company says the long payback time for investing in this tech was worth it. Today, its water recycling rate is close to 70%, over 20% higher than the industry average. It is now looking at ways to filter usable water from chemical mixes.